What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fortnite Battle Royale on Black Tide TV. The great thing about featuring a variety of content on a YouTube gaming channel is that I now have access to an audience in the gaming realm that I may not have previously had access to. So while a large portion of my Call of Duty audience may be following me into these videos regardless, maybe they are interested in Fortnite and they haven't yet tried it, maybe they are just starting in Fortnite and I can provide some tips as I have just recently started as well. But I also have access to the hardcore Fortnite audience as well as any other mainstream gamers that are finally getting into a new game. Fortnite, Call of Duty, some players will never cross that bridge, whereas others might. And by crossing the bridge myself, I have access to everyone, and that's something that I'm incredibly interested in. However, there is a downside to this as well, and that is Call of Duty players can be a little thick-skinned, a little thick-headed, and they won't like it when there's big Call of Duty news, which, let's be real, there's big Call of Duty news every other day, and I'm not talking about it. My recent video on Fortnite, I wanted to do a follow-up with a similar type of commentary. Unfortunately, while I was working on that follow-up video, something else came up. The third week of challenges for the Battle Pass. Wanted to talk about that. And then yesterday, I did hear the news, Black Ops 4 officially confirmed. Lots of stuff to talk about there. I still need Black Ops 3 gameplay. I was planning a Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4 video for the rumors, and now they've announced it early. There are all of these things jumping out, and it can be overwhelming to have so much content to make. It'll almost turn me off of making content. It'll be like, I can do this or this or this or this or this, and I'm like, I don't want to do any of it. <laughs> so... I'm trying my best to keep up with content. I'll be uploading more Call of Duty in the days to come. If you guys are here for the Call of Duty, please stick around. You don't have to watch all the Fortnite videos just because I'm making them. There will be Call of Duty videos. Chill. But in today's video, we are talking about the third week of the Battle Pass as well as the grind in Fortnite because I feel like there is none. And that is a big problem. So... With Season 3, that is the current season of Fortnite Battle Royale, they've introduced Battle Pass Challenges. Previous to this, there were daily and weekly challenges, which weren't bad. I don't know if there was weekly challenges. Daily challenges, at bare minimum. And you had to complete them, you would get certain battle stars, and you could go up on your Battle Pass, you would get experience points, and all kinds of good stuff. But there was never a grind. There was never anything further to do outside of complete your one daily challenge and then win games. Which is fine. Winning games is great. Everyone loves to do that. But it does help if you have something else to look forward to in playing the game. That's why I really like Call of Duty, at least for the first few months. Because it's not just about playing the game and getting the most kills. It's about completing challenges. It's about hitting level 1000. It's about getting the top camouflage challenges. You have all of these things to do in the game. So with the Battle Pass Season 3, there are new weekly challenges. Unfortunately, the weekly challenges are a joke. Week 3 challenges just launched yesterday, the day before yesterday. I don't know because I finished them on day 1. They are that easy. Last week, there was a more difficult one for or are unlocking chests in Wailing Woods, which was an absolute shit show because there are only three chests that ever spawn there. It made the game a little more eventful in that area because there would be 20 people landing there at all times. But realistically, these challenges aren't that difficult. One crossbow elimination this week. Eliminate three opponents in Salty Springs. You can do that in a single game. Follow the treasure map found in Snobby Shores. You saw that at the beginning of today's video. Actually, I believe this was the very first game on that I played from the third week of the Battle Pass, and that's why you see me kind of joking around at the beginning, because they're one of two people that I found in Fortnite Battle Royale, especially with these challenges. They're the people that will help you out with the challenges, because I'm playing solos, and they're the absolute assholes that you run into that don't care about anything other than getting kills and trying to win the game. Nine times out of ten, those guys won't win the game, because... The only kills that they can manage to get are on the people that are trying to complete challenges. One of the challenges this week was to land on bullseyes. When you're jumping out of the bus, you see big red targets on the ground. All you have to do is land in, I think it was seven of these bullseyes. 
Some people are absolute asshole. You'll be landing on the bullseye with them and they'll immediately start hitting you with a pickaxe. Like they're trying to kill you with the pickaxe. Clearly we both landed here to get the challenge done. Let's just wave it off and go get guns before we start killing each other. Or I'm pretty nice about things when I'm playing Fortnite, especially in solos. If I land with somebody and I get a gun and they don't, I'm not going to instantly obliterate them, especially if they just stand there like, oh, come on. So they they know that they're going to die. Most people know that because people are assholes and they've experienced the asshole players before when they land with somebody and that guy grabs a gun and instantly starts just massacring them, spraying them with all of they can, freaking out and jumping up and down like a fairy princess, trying to get this kill on a guy that's holding a pickaxe, just standing there staring at you like, yeah, just kill me because I don't want to live in this world anymore. So there are two, two different types of people when you're doing these challenges. And those are the people that are going to help you, which you saw in today's video. We all kind of landed there. We grabbed the thing from the from the treasure map. And then we were like, okay, well, yeah, we're, we're dancing. Okay, we're all going to go our separate ways now. Those are the good people. But there are some pretty terrible people out there as well. But this tangent aside, we're talking about the grind in Fortnite Battle Royale. Where is it? Because there is no grind in Fortnite Battle Royale. The week three challenges took me a total of three hours to complete. I'm done every other week challenge for Fortnite Battle Royale and I do not play this game exclusively. I play Call of Duty as well. I've been playing the crew just trying to get my racing vibes back up before Burnout Paradise comes out next week. So I, I'm playing a bunch of different games. I'm not specifically playing Fortnite 24 seven like some of these tryhards out here. And I'm done all the challenges. I'm pretty much, I'm halfway through my battle pass honestly and there's still seven weeks left in the battle pass and I've not bought any tiers. I just play this game casually. I don't get a whole lot of wins. I don't get a whole lot of kills. So I'm not grabbing a whole lot of XP and leveling up very quickly either. So what gives there needs to be something more in Fortnite that you can work towards. They are improving the game slightly. We have new battle pass challenges. We have a whole host of microtransactions that you can buy in the game which I'm so glad there aren't supply drops in this game. Apparently there are supply drop similar items in Save the World, but we're not going to talk about that because nobody plays that. But in Battle Royale, there needs to be more to work towards. I saw concept art of a menu where earning wins gets you closer to unlocking special items, special in-store items like skins or pickaxes or all kinds of stuff that you can unlock by winning so many games or you win so many games and those give you points and then you can buy things with your win points. That would be cool. Or to have long standing challenges, like really big challenges, kill 100 players, win 50 matches, like something crazy, something really long and really tedious. And I wanna see good rewards for that. I wanna grind in Fortnite more than just these weekly challenges. We should be working towards getting new skins and completing like these hardcore challenges. I don't know what we could do furthermore, but that's what I'm looking forward to. Like I want to see something for the long haul in Fortnite because as much as the battle royale system is great, sometimes it isn't the most fun in the world to just drop in, kill a couple people, die, drop in, kill a couple people, maybe win the game, die. It gets pretty repetitive and I feel like there needs to be an extra incentive to keep playing the game. Why am I dropping into the game one more time today? Because there's a challenge where if you drop in so many times, like that's what I'm saying. We need a long standing challenge, a long standing something that will give us a huge unlock or give us points and we can go to the store, give us V bucks for completing challenges and we can go to the store and we can buy certain outfits. And that is a similar topic that I'd like to get into in this last little segment of the video today. The store itself, it's nice. And I do like the idea that you can straight up just buy what you want. I like that a thousand times more than a supply drop system. However, I don't like the timed exclusivity of certain items. You'll go to the store every single day and there are two featured items. And then there are six other items for the next 24 hours. And after 24, 24 hours, all of those items are swapped around and you can't get those items again. Those items can cost a lot of money. 2000 V bucks is like 20 actual real world dollars in Canada. 
most of the skins, the legendary epic skins, those things are 2000 V bucks. So say you're a younger person playing this game, maybe you have an allowance or maybe you're just, you don't have a lot of money to spend on games and that's why you're playing Fortnite because it's free. Those items are timed exclusive and you might want an item like crazy. You might look at a skin and be like, that is the coolest skin I, I've ever seen. I want to buy it right now, but I can't afford it right now. You come back in three days when you can finally afford it and you can no longer buy that item because it's not featured in the store. I think the store should have every item available on a menu for you to buy. Maybe the daily exclusive items are a little cheaper. Maybe they go on sale for a day, but you should always be able to go into the menu and be like, okay, where is that dance that I, there is one dance that I actually want and I have enough V bucks now to buy it, but I'm like waiting for days and days and days and days and days before I can buy this thing. And some people don't get to play the game every day. Some people might only get to play on the weekends and they still want that specific dance or that specific weapon skin, but they, they can't get it now because they have to wait. So that's something that they could work on is the store situation. I think that is a, that is a big problem that we're having. It's not, it's not bad, but the timed exclusivity thing, it could be reworked. We should be able to buy whatever we want, whenever we want, and then the timed be on sale. But furthermore, we need a hardcore grind in Fortnite to work towards. That is all I have for you in today's video. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. What are some challenges or something long term you'd like to see in Fortnite Battle Royale? Like rewards, challenges, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll be back with more in the days to come.